and welcome today again to our daily prayers. It's Saturday. And the thing we're thanking God for today is <laughs> um, either a favourite book you've enjoyed or possibly a TV programme. Um, it may not have occurred to you to thank God for, but it's all part of his world. And I can think of many a book, for example, I have really, really enjoyed. And so we thank God for the gift of people's writing or making TV programmes. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. And so we're going to use the same reading as yesterday, the lovely little section this in Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians 3 at verse 11. Now may our God and Father himself and our Lord Jesus clear the way for us to come to you. May the Lord make your love increase and overflow for each other and for everyone else, just as ours does for you. May he strengthen your hearts so that you may be blameless and holy in the presence of our God and Father, when our Lord Jesus comes with all his holy ones. We talked um, yesterday about the first part of this prayer. May God making your love increase and overflow. And today we look at something else, which is may he strengthen our hearts. It's the internal bit of us. Um, so that people will see the strength of our hearts. Others will see it in that we are blameless and God will see it in that we are holy. And so maybe that's something I have a chance to do today. Lord, and for those areas where I'm holding back from you and where my heart is not of you, I pray you'd forgive me and help my love for you to increase and to move away from those things which are not of you, that I may be holy in your sight and blameless in the sight of others. A space for our own prayers now. And so as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and for evermore. Amen. <laughs>